in Winnemucca, Nevada. This is an L5 AT&T underground repeater station. take right there. Winnemucca is 17 miles right that way, east. Those are the stacks up there for the turbine generators. blast detector right there in case a nuclear bomb went off it would catch the light from the bomb and shut all the vents down it's 47 acres best thing about this whole property $44 a year taxes this is the way in That's the cart. It'll handle three tons, three ton lift. Garage door, roll up. The shaft that goes down, 20 feet to the bottom. Pretty handy. Main power, main shutoff right there, that handle. We've got a heater up here too. We're all over the building. I'm going down, it's a little dark. Hopefully it'll be might be a little blurry. Another heater. And then blast door. Two of them. Three thousand pounds. And going down another flight. Heater switch. That's where you bring your 3,000, three tons of material down. Right in that area. Now we're going in through the blast door. This is the main room, approximately 4,000 square feet. Main electric panel there. This room is 10 by 20. Big, big bedroom right now. 12 foot ceilings. That's where I'm sleeping there. The racks could be taken down. They don't need them. Put up your own walls. Petition them out the way you want them. 
living room, bedrooms. Got a bathroom here, shower, sink. This is the emergency exit. Let's say a bomb went off outside and you're radioactive, you come down this escape hatch stairs here, emergency stairs, you come into the decontamination shower. The stairs going upstairs, just like we came down, but it's a little bit narrower, but the same size stairs. storage room but it's also the, the well pump, your well water, pressure tanks, got a 10,000 gallon storage tank up on the racks and there's the gauge right there it says it's full and you got a janitor's wash basin on the floor In very good shape. Mechanical room. This is where all the switch boards are for the pumps, heaters, air conditioning, switches. You take all this stuff out. You don't need it. Nice, nice another big room. So it'll be about 5,000 square feet. This is the condenser room. Got two train pumps here for the air conditioner. You don't need air down here at all. They did back in the day, but it's just beautiful stuff. Still good. A lot of Freon in it. Those are the ejector pumps for the sewage. That slide away door back there is the filter room. It's where there's a whole wall of uh, filters to filter the air. You have it chained and locked right now. <laughs> Don't need any of this stuff. Take it out. Engine room. Got two compressors in here, or two generators in here. They're turbines, 200, 400 horsepower, 200 kW generators behind them. Little jet engines that ran on diesel. This one has 400 hours on it right there. This one has 1600 hours on it. You don't need them down here at all. They won't work down here anyway. It's been disconnected. Got two compressors. Don't need them down here anymore either. But you can shove a nice shop above ground somewhere. And the exhaust air goes out that door. You can go out there and it goes up to those big stacks for the exhaust for the turbines. 
This used to be battery racks to start the generators up if the power goes out. Also gives lighting inside the building, 24 volt system. That's it.